one of the casualties of the failure of three administrations to complete the reconstruction of the St. Jude Hospital is the retardation of the development of sports in St. Lucia. Member of Parliament for Grosley, who is also the Minister for Sports, Kenson Kazime, says the use of the George Odlam Stadium as a hospital means that sports was once again being placed on the back burner. And so, Mr. Speaker, as is often the case, the interests of sports had to be placed aside in the interests of other ministries, Mr. Speaker. According to Kazime, despite some six members of the former cabinet boasting of being former national players at various sporting disciplines, they took their eyes off the ball when it came to supporting sports in St. Lucia. While all the shenanigans were taking place with St. Jude's, our athletes had to suffer the injustice of playing second field at George Odlam. Millions of dollars were being spent, Mr. Speaker, on Don Lockerbie. Not one cent in consideration for that George Odlam Stadium. Mr. Speaker, this hurts. Because instead of focusing on completing the original St. Jude's within their first year, a facility that was nearly complete, instead of doing this and quickly getting operations out of the George Odlam Stadium, Mr. Speaker, we were hearing about turning a building in the north to the Madison Square Garden. The Member of Parliament for Grosley said the former administration had misplaced priorities pertaining to sports and sports development. Instead of finishing St. Jude's, returning it to our athletes, we are talking about developing the Madison Square Gardens, Mr. Speaker. And the sad thing is, while all this is happening, not one cent is put aside to rebuild the George Odlam Stadium, Mr. Speaker. As a former national athlete, this really, really hurts. I mean, you had the option, complete St. Jude's, complete the original St. Jude's, a building that the previous UWP worked on, get the operations out of George Odlam Stadium, rebuild the stadium. You had a cabinet list with former national athletes decided that it is better to just go around St. Lucia and turn natural grass into artificial surfaces, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, now a school like Mikusek have to now look everywhere to see where they can have the little inter-house competition, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I say again, some money could have been set aside for the reconstruction of that stadium instead of the millions put in the hands of Lockerbie. For 13 years and counting, sportspersons in St. Lucia have been denied the proper use of the National Stadium, which has been used as a makeshift hospital, while the sporting structure crumbles under poor maintenance and the corroding effects of salt in the air. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.